Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. I've got plenty of green beans coming in from the garden, so I'm going to make something here that I've actually never tried and I've actually even never tasted before. Uh, we're going to make some pickled green beans. Uh, they're, I think, pretty popular down here in the south. I haven't heard too much of them up in the Midwest where I'm from. My sister has never heard of them either, but I, th I think they're going to be pretty good. So uh, let me show you what I got going here on the uh, stove top. So I've got one pot with some uh, simmering water for the lids. I'm going to make three pints today. And that's um, this recipe we're going to do is uh, we're going to use sterilized jars. And we're all actually going to give them a, a hot water bath. Therefore, when they're done, they will seal and you can actually store them in the pantry. You don't have to just put them in the refrigerator like a lot of the like the pickles I make. I make and I have to put them straight in the refrigerator. Uh, let's look in the, the boiling pot here. And it's just a big pot. We got water ready to boil. There's a rack in there. I've got three pint jars. We're going to sterilize those jars for about 10 minutes. And then we'll be ready to put our beans in and start the pickled bean process. So what I'm going to try to do here is use the best looking beans out of the garden, um, the nice straight ones. And I've got a rooter here on my mat and I'm going to cut them about four inches because that's the length of my jar. And so I'll measure each one and try to get them no more than four inches so I can make sure they're covered with the, um, the hot water vinegar mixture. And if, um, you know, if the beans are shorter than the four inches, that's fine. That's not a problem. You just want to make sure we leave about a quarter inch headspace or half inch headspace at the top of the jar uh, so that it feels good and most of that oxygen's out of there. All right, I've got my sterilized jar. And when you uh, pull that out of the the boiling water just pour that water back into it because you're going to need that to make sure that water is over top when you go to uh, put it in the water bath to our hot sterilized jar i'm going to add a half a teaspoon of mustard seed a half a teaspoon of dill seed or if you prefer you could use a fresh sprig of dill, um, a half a teaspoon of canning salt, and that's just salt. If you see here, it does not say iodized, and there's no iodine, so it's just pure salt. And a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Uh, you could also maybe slice up a jalapeno or a hot pepper, put in some dried red peppers, you know, whatever your preference. And uh, last, I had some really big garlic cloves, so I'm going to put in one garlic clove, uh, but I cut it in half. And now we're ready to put in our beans, get a good grip on this, that jar is hot. And it's best to kind of tilt it, and then just kind of go around the on the side here, try to use all the, the straight beans first. This makes it easier. And you want to do this, you know, fairly quickly. You want to you want to make sure that jar stays pretty warm. Let's see if we could push one more down in there. Okay. Then on the top part. I'm just going to use all these little leftover uh, parts that I cut off uh, to get my four inch beans. All these little leftovers we can just pour right there on top. That way we're using everything. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll get our um, hot liquid. The canning liquid is a basic one to one ratio of vinegar 
to water. I like to use apple cider vinegar. This is our uh, vinegar and water mixture. We're going to just pour it in here until it's about a half inch from the top, but also make sure all the beans are covered. You can kind of get some of the air bubbles out if you want. We got our lid. Uh, first, let's go ahead and wipe off. Uh, just make sure this is all nice and clean so you get a good seal. That vinegar would make, make it a little bit sticky. Screw on a little bit tight. Take our tongs. We're going to put it back into the boiling water. You want to bring that to back up to a boil and we're going to let that boil for uh, 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes is up, we'll just use our tongs, pull the jar out, put it down on the counter, let it come to a room temperature. And you'll know if you have a seal, if you're, if you're in the house, you'll hear it pop. All right, I pulled them out of the hot water bath, but okay, so we'll wait um, two weeks and we'll try them out. All right, let's try our pickled green beans. Uh, some areas of the country actually call these dilly beans, I guess because there's dill in them. Um, actually, these have been in there for over a month, so they should be uh, very tasteful. And one of the best ways to know if you had a good seal, if you push on this middle, you don't hear anything. If it didn't get a good seal, you would hear it kind of go pop, 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 pop. And also, you won't, you, you can't pull that off good, so you have to use like a, a can opener. And you'll hear it pop. You, you'll, you'll hear the seal break. You hear that? Let's take a little bit here. Yeah, I like these. I also made some with a uh, cold, cold pack, which is basically the same thing, uh, rather than go through the hot water bath and all that, you just kind of put them cold, put them in there, put a lid on, but you have to keep them in the refrigerator. Um, I actually like these better. I guess a hot water bath maybe cook them a little bit so that the beans are a little bit softer and they're still crunchy. Uh, the cold pack, they were real crunchy and they almost tasted raw, which, you know, of course they were. Uh, so if you're going to do the cold pack and you don't want to go through all the, the hot water bath and everything, I would suggest maybe you blanch the beans for a couple of minutes before, uh, before doing that. But um, yeah, these are, these are really good. I like that. Also, um, just to let you know, if you think they're maybe a little bit too tart, um, because it's really important to keep that one-to-one -one ratio of vinegar to water, especially for something like green beans that's not acidic at all. Um, you may want to try adding a little bit of extra salt. So I think I might change the ingredients to add maybe a, somewhere between a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon of salt. That'll take away a little bit of the vinegar tartness or you could even put in a teaspoon of sugar. Uh, either one will make it a little bit less tart. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe Dead Foodie right over there. And thank you for watching.